Dear people, teachers of B.A. first year, the subject is Pedagogy of English and the topic today is Teaching Plan. And we shall study this teaching plan under the teaching points. First, importance of teaching plan. Number two, preparing an annual plan. And third, the items of planning that is contained in annual planning. And fourth, important points helpful in preparing the annual plan. And fifth is the format of annual plan. First point, importance of teaching plan. It is said that uh, a good plan is half done. So, to get the required objective or aims, preparation of a good plan is necessary. A well teach teaching plan helps teacher to complete his course in a due time and to get the maximum development of the students in the time available and his uh, uh, teaching is completed in due time and in a systematic way. Number two, there are three kinds of, three types of uh, uh, teaching plan. Number one, annual plan. Number two, unit plan. And number three, daily lesson plan. Today we shall learn about the annual plan. So second point is preparing an annual plan. A syllabus is prescribed to be taught in a year, that is in a session. Hmm? And the teacher should uh, <coughs> divide the whole syllabus in five divisions. And the five divisions are divided in this matter and before dividing these five, teachers should count the available periods in the whole session month-wise. These five divisions are in this way. First division is from beginning of the session to the first period, first test. That is about uh, May, <coughs> July and August. <coughs> At the end of August, the uh, first test is uh, given. And the second is uh, from first test to second test. That is uh, approximately September and October month. And third division is from second test to half yearly. And that period is uh, November and December. And from half yearly to third test, that is January to half February approximately. Third test is uh, given in February. And fifth part is from third test to annual exam, that is till March. That is till March. These are the five divisions to be divided. Uh, according to the examination, according to the test. Third point, the items of planning that is content that are to be included in annual plan. What are the content? What are the uh, material, teaching material? First, uh, the lessons of textbook. Grammar is included in the text. Nowadays, grammar is not taught separately. They should be taught in the text itself, in the reference, in the context. And second, the structures and lexical items. What structures are there in first lesson, second lesson, not only but also neither nor, either or, these are structures. And lexical item means new words. Hmm? lexical items and number third class exercise what teacher 
plan to give in class test, class exercise and homework. Oral and written composition. What are to be taught in the whole year? The composition, essay writing, application writing, paragraph writing, report writing. Mm, these are the compositions. Unit test. After every unit, after every lesson, uh, unit test should be organized. And remedial teaching. If uh, the students are very weak in unit test, then they should be given remedial teaching. Fourth point, important points. Helpful in preparing annual plan. What are the uh, things to be kept in the mind of the teacher? Before preparing annual plan, teacher should keep following point in his mind. Periods available in whole session, month-wise, and periods available in each five division. They should be counted. Teachers should count them. And they should be entered in the annual plan. And second thing, teachers should note structures, lexical items, items, and lessons. This should be um, calculated and entered in the annual plan. He must note difficulty level of the class. Uh, the class is uh, weak in which uh, matter? They are in com composition or in structure or um, in question answer. So that should be emphasized. He must uh, prepare a list of oral and written composition to be done in the whole session and include in annual plan. He must keep one or two period for revision after each lesson, after each lesson unit. And difficult and easy content should be given periods accordingly. The difficult should be given more period and easy should be given less period. And fifth point, the format. I have prepared a format uh, to be prepared at the angle plan. This is the format of the annual plan, serial number, month, uh, May. Uh, nowadays, the uh, session starts from the May. Some days are in the May and then July. Then the summer vacation starts after 15 or 16 days. So May, July and August. The period, I have approximately written 10 period in my age. These are working, working days, excluding holidays. And division beginning to first test. This is first division. And uh, teaching points are included. Which teaching plans are to be included? They should be mentioned here. Lesson number, exercise, structure, lexical item, composition, report writing, notice writing, invitation writing, letter writing. They should be written and mentioned here. And homework. In this way, annual plan can be prepared in a very nice way. Now there are some questions. What is the importance of teaching plan? First question. What is the importance of teaching plan? I have included in the first paragraph. And number two. What is annual plan? And how is it prepared? Number second paragraph. And third. What teaching content should be included in annual plan? important thing should be included in annual plan these things and then what are the important points helpful for preparing annual plan what are the important points to be kept in mind during the annual plan uh, now i am i have some warning for you uh, guideline for you mai aapko kuch sujhav dena chahta hu ki ye corona ka mahamari chal rahi hai epidemic chal raha hai to iske andar aap ghar se jab bhi bahar jaye to mask pehen ke zarur jaye aur koi bhi vyakti mile to aap usse 6 foot ki kam se kam distance rakhe aur bahar kisi bhi cheez ko touch kiya ho kisi ko bhi to ghar aakar ke कोई नाश्ता या पानी इत्यादि न करें आते ही जो है साबुन से हाथ धो करके या सैनिटाइजर से हाथ धो करके फिर ही आप अपना मुंह अंगुलियां जो है हाथ मुंह में डालें ठीक है ये ध्यान रखें आप ओके हैव ए नाइस डे